How's it guys? Yeah, today I'm going to talk to you about PID settings on your printer. If you remember in the last episode we changed the thermistor. Now it's a good idea to adjust your PID settings once you've changed your thermistor. What are your th PID settings? Well, it's a setting that uh, Marlin has that will allow you to adjust the heat, how it handles temperature fluctuations on your printer. So with the PID settings, it's mostly an automatic process, but there's a little bit of manual intervention that you need to do, uh, but it really is simple and super valued to get that, sorry, super valuable to get that uh, proper print temperature on your, on your printer and getting a great print out of it. So if you remember in the last episode, I showed you how to load Pronterface uh, or Print Run, as it's also known as. Um, so we're going to load our Pronterface onto our machine and we're going to connect up to our printer. And we are going to start in by typing M503. Now, when I type in M503, you'll see that a whole bunch of settings comes up. And if you look at this setting, you get the M301 settings, which will tell you what your current settings are. So in order to run this, we are going to run M503. And when we run M503, and let's send that through, you'll see that the temperature on your printer starts to rise. I'm gonna show you over here, I'm gonna bring this little graph in. If you look here, your temperature will start to rise. We type in M303 E0 S200 C3. This will set out our hot end to 200 degrees Celsius and this will run a series of, of, of switching it on and off and you'll see that happen here. So now the auto tune has started. I can show you on the temperature thing here. As it rises, you'll see that your, your extruder one or extruder zero in this case uh, is rising up. So that's our hot end getting hotter and hotter as it goes through. So it'll rise up to 200 degrees Celsius, then it will turn it off, it will drop down a bit, it will turn it back on, it will turn it off, turn it back on, and in that status it will do the tuning for the PID. You'll see that it reaches the 200 degrees Celsius, it turns the heater block off, it will then turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on, and it will adjust the PID as it's going through there. If you look on the screen of the uh, Ender 3, you'll see that the temperature is rising and dropping as it goes through the cycles. It'll cycle up and down, uh, tuning its, its, its settings, and once it's done, it'll start dropping, and we'll get a message on our screen. Right, so now once it's done its whole tuning, it'll say click to resume, and it says there wait pause for user. We click to resume. We go back to our pronto face here, and you'll see that you have a defined default KP, KI, and KD settings. Those are our PID settings. So once we get that, we are going to type into our screen here, onto our little uh, terminal block here, M300, uh, sorry, 301, I beg your pardon. Uh, and then we go capital P, we type in our first value of 24.25. Obviously you'll type in your settings. We go to the I, and we go to 3.52, and then the D is, 41.71, 41.71, all right. We press enter, that will set the PID settings for us. We now need to type M500, which will save the settings, and then we can verify M503 that our new settings have been stored into the settings. As you can see here, our new settings are stored on the printer. Now your print head will cool down and you can, you're ready for printing. So this is really a great idea if you're having min temperature or anything like that where um, you're having temperature problems or when you've changed your thermistor. It's a good idea to reset everything and just make sure that it's all good. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you like it. Um, we'll be bringing out some more videos shortly on, on the Ender 3 and uh, Sean is sending me two printers from uh, Joburg to, for me to test. So I'll let you know as soon as I get those and we'll bring those to you. Thanks guys.